With summer right around the corner, I figured it'd be the perfect time to do a legs and abs workout. We're going to be doing five different moves for 45 seconds on, followed by a 15 second break. We're gonna do that two rounds through for a total of 10 minutes. All you need is a yoga mat and your adjustable wedgie because you're going to be using the 7 degree slope and the 20 degree slope. If you just have like a sumo wedgie or your XL wedgies, that's perfectly fine, but I do recommend the adjustable wedgie for the workout. Are you ready? Let's get started. Up first, we have that one and a half rep heel elevated squat. You can see it in the up hand corner and you're going to be looking at that exercise during your 15 second break. Starting in three, two, and begin. So we're going all the way down, back up, back down again, back to that starting position. Now, we don't need a warm up here because this is all body weight and I love body weight exercises because there's no excuses. You can do this anywhere, anytime, and we all have 10 minutes to work out. And that is the purpose of this workout. In 10 minutes, you're gonna get a great lower body and core workout. It's kind of like the perfect workout before you go to the beach or go to a pool party. Get those abs ready, get those quads ready for a short, short season. Here we go. How's everybody feeling today? I think I did two pulses there. That's all good. Nothing wrong with a couple extra pulses. Getting these legs waking up. Last rep here. Awesome. Now we're moving on to our split squat. So take off the top of your adjustable wedgie. Seven degree slope. We're right here. We're going left leg first, pushing forward, pushing back. Keep that heel glued down throughout. Push the knee forward and then push back. If this is giving you a little bit of knee pain, then what I want you to do is just drop straight down and then push back. So don't let the knee go so far over the toe. You have to build up tolerance to the knee going over the toe. You don't have to drive it over excessively every time. Inhale down, exhale. Now this one's gonna burn. Split squats are a challenging movement. I like to put my arms out to a side here. If this is too challenging, you can always grab a chair or something for some balance. If you have a son or a daughter, hold on to them. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Woo! Quads getting smoked. Other side, shake it out, shake it out, because you're working both legs here. All right, here we go, other side, right leg. So, in a perfect world, maybe you would do a longer break there, but you know, life isn't perfect. We're short on time. We gotta get in, get out. That way, you have no excuses. So going forward, heel down, pushing back. Make sure this back knee bends. Do not lock it out. Think about kind of like a 90-90 set of knee under hip. Get a nice stretch in that back hip flexor and you should feel a little tension through this back quad. That's good, that's what we want. Last rep here. All right, beautiful. Let's give those legs a break and move on to some abs now with some bicycle crunches. Whew, what's an ab workout without some bicycle crunches? We're here. I need to adjust my mic. My apologies, sorry for that noise. As you can hear the breathing, it's all about the exhale. You need a good exhale to activate those abs. Back and forth. Even here, we're getting a little hip flexor as well. Back and forth with the abs. Exhale. 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 Beautiful. All right, now we're laying down. We have tuck ups next, so we get two abs in a row. We had two legs, two abs in a row. And then we're gonna go back to legs again after this. Arms overhead, come on up, knees to chest. If you watch some of my videos, this is definitely one of my favorite ab exercise. 
stretching the abs, reaching overhead, and then whew, getting that nice upper body, lower body crunch so we get the upper abs and the lower abs. Again, breathe. All about the breathing. Six seconds here. All right, beautiful. And look, it's five minutes already. We're already back to the top, back to legs again. So we got two legs, two abs. Here we go, back to the top. Split squat, I mean, uh, sorry about that. One and a half rep pulsing squats. We got split squats on the mind. Now, if you wanna burn more, go a little faster, get a little more work in, in that 45 seconds. Good work, good work. Legs are starting to burn now. If I'm feeling it, I know you are. The 20 degree slope really lights up those quadriceps. If you're feeling some knee pain here, you have two options, go to a smaller slope or just pull your hips back a little bit more. Again, don't let the knee go so far over the toe. One more rep. All right, Woo. There we go, split squat time. Take off the top, seven degree. I really like a smaller slope for this because I feel like when you get too high, it's not as comfortable. So I like the small seven degree slope. Seven to 10, we'll get the job done. You can use the bottom board here as well. It's kind of your preference. Again, with that higher slope, you will get a little bit more quad though. Good, inhale, exhale. Ooh, balance, 20 seconds left. Working everything here, not just legs. Working balance too. That back leg of mine's burning, front leg burning. Sometimes all you need are some squats and split squats. Don't complicate it, keep it simple. Try to keep that big toe down. See my foot rolling out a little bit, push through. Nice work, nice work, shake it out. You can even use this as a finisher to your workout too. You know, you're at the gym, we're working out in the garage and boom, you want a little 10 minute leg finisher. This is all you need. Get some abs in there too. Forward and back. Try not to arch your lower back excessively, right? Like we don't need to arch as we go down like that. Think rib cage and pelvis stacked together. So as I move forward, everything moves together. Try to keep that heel glued down. It's okay if it comes up a little bit, just work on driving that heel down so we're still getting some good knees over toes, ankle mobility out of it. Here we go, five seconds, five seconds team. Let's work, let's work. Three, two, and one. All right, beautiful. Stack your wedgie back up. Look at this, 10 minutes. You got two moves left. You got your workout in for the day. One thing I always tell my clients, remember, 10 is better than zero. One is better than zero. As long as you show up, consistency is the name of the game. You're doing this for the rest of your life. So if you only get to get 10 minutes in, that's a win. Think about it, you do 10 minutes a day, 30 days a month, three, you know, a whole month, or you can just do five days, right? That adds up over the long term. Keep breathing, keep working, let's go. We want that summer body, let's work for it. And if you're just doing this to live a longer, healthier life, I'm about that as well. Woo. Because you know, when it comes to the summer body, nutrition has to be dialed in. And there's nothing wrong if you love to eat. I love to eat too. Here we go. This is the last move already, we're already nine minutes in. 
Maybe you're doing this first thing in the morning. Let's get you ready for the work day. Or maybe you're doing this before you put, right after you put the kids down to go to sleep. Whatever it is, great job showing up and putting the work in. Now, just because you did this once doesn't mean you're over and done with it. You can come back to this. You can keep doing this over and over again until it's so easy you can do it in your sleep. Here we go, last two, last two. Let's work, let's work. One and two. Woo. Give yourself a little high five there. Awesome job. Way to show up and get the workout in. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, and check back on some more workouts. Our goal here is to motivate you to work out regardless of the situation. As long as you have the wedgie, you can get a great workout in anywhere, anytime. I'm Eric Rokiski. Thank you so much for joining. And until next time, have a great day.